Aloha from Maui, Hawaii, and welcome to a Maui Music Moment. I'm your host, Randall Rosepond. Our program intends to inspire, educate, and entertain you with an intimate glimpse into the sights, sounds, and minds of some of Maui's most unique musicians, songwriters, entertainers, and who knows what else. Welcome to another episode of A Maui Music Moment. Uh, it's our intention to introduce you to Maui musicians and folks of that nature. And today it is my privilege and pleasure to welcome my guest, Matt DeLomo. Is that the correct pronunciation, my friend? Yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show, Thank Matt. You, um, now, Matt, uh, you play around the island and you, I'm, I'm aware of this, so I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. You play with Yum Yum Beast and Brown Chicken, Brown Cow String Band and a bunch of other kind of things, too, as well. Yeah. Shea Derrick and the Cream. Oh, cool. Um, Sweet Beats. Mm -hmm. And then I also have my own project called the Matt Delomo Band, cool. MDOB. That's oh. relatively new. It's almost huh? a year old. I like the sound of that. It's yeah. got the taking care of business kind of. Yeah. <laughs> right. I've always been in bands where like I'm, I'm balancing duties of backup and front man, you know, and uh -huh. then had to start a project where I could just go forth. Do what? Do what the Matt you? Delomo path. Right on, man. Yeah. Well, and you are a multi-instrumentalist, songwriter, and singer. Am I correct? Correct. Cool, cool. Play a little five-string banjo, uh -huh. upright bass. That was kind of the, the founding of uh, That's what got the brown chicken, the brown, brown chicken. cow. And then guitar went in there, and then singing got in there, songwriting got in there, and then, uh, what was it? A few years ago, Justin and I started Yum Yum Beast. Uh -huh. Which is and, a little more electric and funky. Yeah. We had Justin on a couple episodes ago. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, actually, we're currently in the midst of recording a full-length Yum Yum Beast LP. Yeah. That's we're doing tracking right now. Cool, cool. With Mr. We, Eric Helmkamp at the Engineer. That's what Justin had mentioned. So we're yeah. kind of your our viewers and listeners are slowly keeping track of the progress of yeah, this it's, project. Yeah, it's coming up soon. I, I think this winter we'll have a have a record for out. people to listen to. Cool, cool. Yeah. Well, hey, we are not going to keep our viewers too long in interview. We'll come back to talking. Your first song that you did, can you give us a quick intro and we will let the folks uh, hear you play? Yeah, first song, Windshield Television. It's, uh, it's named after driving around the hills of West Virginia and just seeing stuff as it comes. It's like a really fast TV show and all this stuff just flies by. So it's, it's got a bluegrassy feel, you know, and it's got a country vibe to it. And it's kind of a, a barn burner. Some groovy lyrics, too. Yeah. Ooh, well, here it is. Ten dollars in my wallet, four joints slipped in the pile. One gun in the gas tank, four ones across the clock. Two miles in town. Hills, creeks, and trees. Happy now to get there up on time. We finally. Hand dogs, bears, buffalo, cats, dogs, and mine. Cook it all, chick cabins, and mine, my home wives. Red tail hawk fly low along the river trail. Bark, spot, dance, crooked roads, know them all too well. Sunshine, rolling down the highway with your old radio. Hills past my eyes, an endless barbed wire. Cows, bars, and emus, sheep, goats, and gunfire. Sheep, goats, and gunfire. i 
table. Keep my skillet good and greasy as long as I am able. Chick coops, kind of wax, locust maple and cherry. Timber goes, your oak tree, how woods those make us merry. They make us merry. Trailers, logs rolling down freeways, pushing bits, steel toe boots, yeah, that's what they say. Minor shiners, banjo pickers, hunters, throw some back straps, darts, pipe, shoot, skeet, all the while we laugh. Delomo with Windshield Television, and uh, excellent title. And we've all been at that television set one way right. or another. <laughs> cool tune, and uh, right up my kind of genre that I love. Um, you know, kind of singer songwriter. If I may say so, it has a little uh, early Dylan-ish vibe. Oh, oh yeah, to it. That, that was a heavy. That that's an older song of mine. It's er, and. That was a time where I was listening to a lot of Dylan. Yeah. Well, he has taught many of us, and uh, no greater guy to teach you how to write. Um, right. Still but, listening. Yeah. Yeah. To this day, <laughs> I, uh, uh, outstanding. Um, but back to where we are now. Yeah. This is my first, the biggie question. Where are you originally from? What was your trajectory to Maui? Because you live here now and have been here for some time. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, so, how did you get here? So start at the front, or start from um, here now? Wherever you want. Okay. Well, well, it, it, we'll be with you. <laughs> okay. So mom and dad had me in Texas. Right? Texas. So that's where I was born. Was in Texas, a little town in Sherman, okay. up northern Texas by the Red River, and we spent about eight years of my first eight Childhood. years of my life, and then family picked up and we moved to the suburbs of Chicago, okay. and you know, did the whole middle school, high school vibes mm -hmm. there. And then when it was time to get out of there and mom and dad were like, you gotta go, get out of here. <laughs> oh, then yeah. I went to uh, North Carolina. And you went to school I went, in North Carolina. I went Carolina. to college there in Greensboro. Uh -huh. um, big college town, yeah. Big college town. I went to a liberal arts school and studied music and art. And uh -huh. as soon as they wanted me to do other classes, you know, like yeah. learn stuff. <laughs> that didn't have anything to do with music art and, and art. music. Yeah. I was like, okay, this isn't really working. Yeah. So I left and went to West Virginia, of all places, which was a couple states over, mm -hmm. I think, or right there. Just yeah. on a whim, or did you have a... Uh, uh, I, had, I had a friend. I, I had a friend at the time. We were um, both in the arts, mm -hmm. and she was like, here, come up here. Come check this out. I want you to meet my music friends. And there was a bunch of old-time music and bluegrass up uh -huh. there yeah, yeah. in Appalachian Hills. So that's where I met Brown Chicken Brown Cow String Band. Oh, okay. So around 2008, which is coming up, it's almost going to be a decade next year. Yeah, yeah. Um, I joined forces with them, showed up at one of the rehearsals with the banjo and started learning the tunes. And, they would come, and, then, and then they left, and they went on the road, and they flew out here. But I stayed there. I had, I had a, like a foothold going on. There. Yeah, yeah. So it yeah. took them a couple of years to be like, come on. Let's, yeah, come don't on. you want to go on the road? Pretty neat over tour here, too. around. And I was like, and then finally it clicked. And I was like, yeah, 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 sure. Let's go. Let's do it. Cool, cool. So I played upright bass. And they, we toured all the way across the U.S. Mm -hmm. to L.A., parked the van, got in a plane, flew over here. Uh, I think that was the Brown Chicken, Brown Cow ice cream tour. Okay. 
Uh, we did live at the tattoo parlor. Oh, huh. Played at, uh, what was the, the venue in Kihei it used to be open? Mm. Stella Blues. Stella Blues. Stella Blues. Played we there. love Stella Blues. To this day, people come up to me and they yeah, say, right? oh, I wish that was Stella a cool Blues spot. was still there. Yeah. Yeah. Great spot. Casanova. Did Charlie's down in Paia. Yeah, we would run yeah. around, you know, and people would be like, yeah, I'll come over here. Yeah. So that's how I got to Hawaii. And the first time we left, um, I got on the plane and I kind of like internally was looking out the window like, why are we leaving? Yeah. Yeah. No, it becomes a, a big a So big every thing. time we'd come, I'd, it would get harder and harder to leave. Yeah. And eventually I was like, you know what? I need some time off. I'm going to I'm going to hang out here, here for a minute. Yeah. Get your Maui feet. Right. And then we I left one more time and did another road trip and we recorded an album that was uh -huh. flying high. Uh -huh. And then came back here for another winter, but then I just stayed. Cool. Cool. And so now you're a Maui resident playing around. Yeah, it's been like four and a half years or so. That's a take. I good don't know. solid, could, yeah. First couple could be blurry. He's understandable. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's give them your next song, and then we'll pick up our interview again. And uh, what's your next tune? The Dick? next tune is called In My Own Style. In My Own Style. This is a sweet tune, very sweet tune. Right here. <laughs> And 
I love that tune. I think that, that's a haiku tune for me. Um, it's got that chill, and I saw the video where you guys are in haiku, so oh, and yeah. I think that kind of painted a picture for me. Um, Matt, it, it's been an honor and a privilege to have you on the show. Thank you. I want to let people at home know how they can find you. Where are you playing these days? I know you're in a bunch of different scenarios, but uh, you know, contacts, websites, and is there somewhere they can catch you on a regular basis? Yes, most definitely. Uh, most frequently, you can catch me at the Maui Brewing Company on Thursdays mm -hmm. in Kihei. Yep, yep. That's the Good place. newer, newish yeah, location. Yeah. I was just there the other day. In the tasting room. Yeah. Plenty of drinks on tap. A lot of but beer. I'm, I'm there most every Thursday. Okay. But they like to switch up the schedule and have a variety of musicians play. So you can check me out on Who Plays. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's H O O uh, representing uh, venues on Maui for uh -huh. the local musician scene. Um, and your website? Uh, website mattdelamomusic.com, soon to be available. Right on. <laughs> Very cool. Um, I also use Facebook as media to communicate with my audience. So, mm -hmm. so they could search Yum Yum Beast or Matt Delomo. Yeah, and Matt Delomo. You. I'm on there both as my personal page and uh, Facebook page, and I usually post most of the time what I'm up to. Cool. Who plays? I try to always keep that calendar updated. Yeah. So I'll tell you where I'm going, and then you. every other Tuesday I play with Orion Hitsig from Brown Chicken Brown Cow String Band at, at Char Charlie's in Paia from 6:30 to 8:30. Cool. Nice slot. I follow you guys quite often on yeah, Wednesdays. Yes. Orion Hitzig and I, and then the next week it's Tom Conway, and yeah. then we switch back and forth. And that's that's cool. usually a, a fun gig, high energy kind of bluegrass, but with a with some curveballs in there. Good show. Keep the curveballs up. Yeah. <laughs> my bet, my my guest has been Matt Delomo. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Pleasure to have you on. Yes, sir. Great music. Aloha. Well, we're looking forward. I got a tune to roll you out. Want to thank Larry John for producing. Carl Rosicki for being our videographer, our vivacious videographer. My great guest, Matt Delomo, on behalf of myself and Akaku TV Maui. If I can get my mouth working properly, aloha. We'll see you next time. This next song, uh, the one we're going to roll credits over, is called Looking Forward. And uh, with respect to the Rastafarian belief where they don't say backwards, I think uh, we're all poised at a point in this world where we need to look forward, realize this is one big ball spinning through space, and we were all born here. So peace be with you. This is called Looking Forward.
boogie tune in a boogie time. Looking forward, not looking back. Keep looking forward, keep your eye right on the track. Thank you. 